turn the cards off. All right, well, we still have one more minute till seven. So, it's my first time doing this. I'm not super sure. Yeah, we'll wait for people to join. I don't think people have joined yet. Okay. Actually, I think I have done this before. But it's been a while. As soon as we have a few people join, I'll give it five minutes. As soon as a few people more join, which, oh, it looks like I can see people joining. Oh, my husband is here. <laughs> LOL. Okay. Well, as people, more people join, it looks like there's three people now. Um, then I'll get started but yeah what is this this is my first time doing this so um hmm Okay, well, hopefully people can just join automatically. I'm going to give it till 7. Oh, wait. It's my mom. <laughs> oh, that's what the request is for. Okay. Right. That's for people who want to, like, join the video. Okay, we won't be doing that. Um... But yeah, I'm going to give it till 7.05 and then we will begin uh, Then we'll begin the little mini concert. So. Alright, I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, but yeah, it seems to be working. Get four people. In all honesty, um, yeah, in all honesty, we'll see how this goes with uh, Wi-Fi and connections and everything, but I'm pretty excited. And I have turned off commenting for those who are already here, um, just for safety reasons, but yeah, one we hit 7.05, I will get started. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm super excited to sing my songs. And, and for those who missed the live stream, I will post it on my I'll upload it to my YouTube channel afterwards so hopefully more people can watch it from there. But, and since I've turned off commenting I can't ask any questions. But I hope y'all can hear me okay. 
I'm going to uh, assume that you guys can hear me well. <laughs> Okay, well, we can slowly get started and hopefully more people will join. And if not, that's all right. This is an experiment, but yeah. My husband is making signals to me to get started. <laughs> and he He's watching me from the other room, so hopefully it's not picking that up now. Anyway, all right. Well, guys, I'm Zara. Welcome to my at-home mini concert of uh, mini little house concert thingy. Um, I'm excited to share some of my songs with you guys. If you've been following along, you know that I just released an album called Hope at dawn oh my gosh i forgot it for a second anyway hope at dawn and tonight i'm going to be singing just a few of the songs playing a few of the songs from that album for you all i have my electric guitar right over here my acoustic guitar over here and i'll be doing a combination of both um but, but yeah i'm excited to share some of the meanings behind some of the songs because i've had people ask me like what inspired some of the songs on the album and I thought this would be a good way to kind of both play the album and um, then explain some of the meanings behind some of the songs with you all so um, I'm gonna give a few disclaimers before I get started for those who just joined I've turned off commenting just for some safety reasons um, and I will be posting the video uploading it to my YouTube channel after this is done for those who missed it um, and then a final disclaimer if you don't know I am pregnant it's me and my husband's first child um, so I am six months <laughs> all that to say why I'm sharing that is uh, as the baby has gotten bigger it has put some pressure on some of the vital organs including my lungs so it makes it hard to breathe a little bit uh, so if my voice cracks or I run out of breath while I'm playing this song, <laughs> give me grace. Uh, hopefully it'll go well and yeah, kind of just looking forward to hanging out with you all for an hour as I play through my songs. So, All right, well, let's get started. Uh, if you've listened to my album, you know that there's a spoken word and... Um, well, there's two spoken words on the album. The first one is Children of the Light. And then the whole album ends with King of the Dawn. I'm not going to try to do King of the Dawn because I butchered that during practice. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to do, I am going to read through Children of the Light with a little background track for that. And we'll see how that goes. And then I'll kind of explain the meaning behind that one. Um, but yeah. That'll be the only spoken word because it's a little awkward. Uh, and the other ones are obviously guitar songs, so I'll be playing those. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right. Well, I'm just going to read through the spoken word or play through it, sing through it, read through it. Um, so here we go. And then I'll give the meaning behind the spoken word and an explanation with it. O oh, children of God hiding in the dark, come out into the light and dance. Our time for mourning has ended, and hopelessness which once raged like a spreading flame has been put out. Light has dawned. A new day has come, our King has saved us, and we dance to his song. So come daughters and come sons, dance to his song. But we do not dance as we once did, moving lifelessly to the heartbeat of a dead drum. Rather, we dance as children of the light with our heads held high and our hearts poured out. We are children of the light, which makes us children of love. 
So come daughters and come sons, your lover awaits you. He is your king of kings and your mighty prince of peace and he holds a banner over you which he calls love. Rejoice and take joy in who he is and in the free life he purchased for you with his blood. He chose you and he cleansed you. He sets you free and he calls you to dance in the light of his glory. The time for hiding is over. The time for winter is done. Our bully has been defeated. The king has trampled fear underfoot. So take up your banner of love, O oh daughter, O oh son. Take up your banner of love. We leave our old ways behind, not allowing the fears of yesterday to dictate who we will become today. Instead, we take up the banner of love and we walk into our destiny with open arms. Come into the light and take up your banner of love. Speak, sing, shout, cry, move. You have a voice, you have a song. Don't hold back, become who you fully are. Dance to the beat of his love. Dance to the beat of his love. children of the light um, that will be the one and only spoken word I do tonight <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah I want to explain a little bit kind of the heart behind that spoken word and how I wrote it so I wrote it about four years ago uh, while I was living on an island called Cyprus and probably some of you joining her on that island right now <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was around the same time that I wrote my song, Light Breaks Through, if you've listened to that. And it was right around when COVID happened and our world was just in darkness and chaos. And um, everywhere I looked, there was death and sickness. And yeah, it was just a hard time, as we all know, for a lot of people. Uh, but during that time, I began to get this picture of... Um, the lyrics in the spoken word say, we do not dance as we once did, moving lifelessly to the heartbeat of a dead drum. And that was the picture I was seeing all around me of just this death and this sickness. Uh, that it was, we were as humanity, moving lifelessly to the heartbeat of a dead drum. And um, our souls had been crushed. We were not dancing um, our dance or living our life in the way I believe God has called us to, um, which is to be children of light and of hope. And as the song, as the spoken word says, with our heads held high and our hearts poured out. Um, so this spoken word was birthed out of that picture, was just birthed out of that heart that I had for people to wake up and to dance, uh, the dance that they were called to dance and not this heavy one that I saw everyone walking in. Um, Children of the Light is for those, it, it's a spoken word for those who prefer to live their lives walking in the light as opposed to the darkness. Um, it's for people who prefer to chase after truth and 
love and help and justice rather than to live in a world of deceit and lies and confusion uh, which comes with darkness um, and as, as the spoken word states and as is wrapped up at the end of the album in King of the Dawn uh, which I won't be going through today but you can listen to my album and hear that spoken word as well uh, but as it mentions and as it's wrapped up in that um, and in light breaks through we walk the way we walk in the light is by following the king who goes before us the one who is the light and um so yeah that, that's the heart behind this song that is how i wrote this spoken word and um and, and yeah <laughs> and then in the album i transition from that spoken word straight into my single that I released a while back called Light, Light Breaks Through. But I'm going to save Light Breaks Through for the end of the mini concert. Um, yeah, I'm having some issues with the cord. But um, anyway, I'm going to save that for the end. So right now we're going to transition into the next song on the album which is called Void into the emptiness and so I hope, hope you'll enjoy this one uh, after I'm done playing it as I did with the other one I'll then um, give an explanation for this song we don't have any chord glitches another disclaimer for you all I'm not very tech savvy uh, for my people group, my peer group. <laughs> my husband helps me out a lot with a lot of my technical difficulties, so hopefully we don't run into any. So here's Void, Into the Emptiness. There's a void Inside, a place only one can fill Emptiness that runs so deep that I can't seem to get it filled And the thoughts keep circling round and round inside my head Creating anxiety and I can't seem to get them still So I cried out into the emptiness Looking for the one my soul had I will hear your voice at the end of this Singing songs of hope Songs of peace Opposite of being free, it keeps you lonely, hidden under lock and key, and it works together with anxiety. As the fear grows bigger, I becomes all that I can see. So I cried out into the emptiness Looking for the one that so had missed And I will hear your voice at the end of this Singing songs of hope Songs of peace 
the emptiness from my album hope at dawn um i wrote this song two years ago yeah around two years ago as i was having a time of reflecting on my life and um i was remembering how i've had a lot of depression and anxiety and i've been open with that in the past in my previous albums and how i struggled with depression depression and anxiety for so many years and so I was going through a time two years ago reflecting on that journey of my life and while I was reflecting and while this song was forming uh, I, I was reminded how despite struggling with that depression and that anxiety throughout my life uh, God was reminding me through Bible verses and through people he brought into my life that um, he was singing songs of hope and peace over me and I realized that hope is the antidote for depression because what happens when you're depressed you're hopeless and peace is the antidote for anxiety because what happens when you're anxious you're full of fear you don't have that peace and um, I read a verse from the Bible um, and it's okay if you're not a Christian, I am, and I find that my life is based on the Bible. It's what gives me hope and, and peace. <laughs> and so um, this verse in the Bible is uh, what inspired me to write this song. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. Jeremiah 29, 11 through 14 says this, For I know, and this is God saying this to his people, uh, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. And uh, I think that that's really cool that God gives that promise to his people that he will give them hope and peace when they search for him with all their heart. And um, the bridge of the song uh, of this song talks about facing what does it say there's no way out of this there's only one way through it gotta face the demons of the night gotta come out stronger on the other side so it's uh, this whole concept of facing in order to make, make it through you have to go through you can't go around the problem you have to face your problem you have to face your fear you have to face that darkness head on um, walk through it and deal with it and then you can get to hope on the other side and that's the whole concept of the album as well um, is that there's hope at dawn so after facing the night not ignoring it but going through it um, there's light on the other side and 
Uh, and as the verse says, we have to, in order to get freedom in our lives and in that capacity, we have to be willing to do everything that's necessary uh, to get free. Um, and I don't know what that is for your life, if it's addictions, if it's wrong beliefs that you have about yourself, about the world, if it's toxic friendships, uh, whatever it is that you have to do um, to clean your life up, that that's what we have to do. And in my experience, it's been searching for God with my whole heart means giving up whatever I had to give up in order to find him and to follow his ways, which are pure and which bring hope and peace into my life. And so I, I hope that when you listen to this song, that you, whatever walk of life you're on, I don't know, um, but my hope is that this song can resonate with you and uh, that you can find the same hope and the same peace that I did. Um, and another thing that I've learned throughout the years, and I just want to share that real quick before I move on to the next song, but uh, that I've learned, especially through my season through, that I went through with counseling and being trained as a counselor as well, is that no one can help you unless you're willing to help yourself. And so uh, we have to take personal responsibility, and that's also what this song is about, is that I have to take responsibility and stop blaming everyone else for the feelings that I have um, and as soon as I take as soon as I took responsibility for the things that were wrong in my life then God was able to help me clean that up and uh, I truly have hope and peace today um, which is amazing and uh, that comes from uh, the walk of life I've been on so moving on we're gonna move into the next song on the album which is called I've got one in life Ooh. <laughs> um, this song, I'll do a little explanation beforehand and then I'll play the song, but this song is uh, an interesting one. I wrote it about seven to eight years ago. Hold on. <laughs> um, about seven, eight years ago. Yeah, a long time ago. And it was actually the season of my life when I first realized that I had to take personal responsibility. I had a lot of issues. I had, like I said, I was going through depression and anxiety very severely, and I was getting counseling. And that's when I realized that, yeah, that I didn't want to live the way I was living. I didn't want to live in this constant state of depression and anxiety. And I had this wake up call at that time of my life that it's up to me to change my life. And I've only got one life to live. And I want to live it right and I want to live it well. And that's where this song was birthed from. Um, and uh, and if, you, yeah, if you haven't read the Bible, if you're not a Christian, that's okay. Again, I don't know what walk of life you're on. But uh, if you haven't, then this song might not make the most sense because the lyrics are uh, straight from, um, pretty much straight from the Bible, uh, tweaked a little bit artistically. But... <laughs> Uh, it talks about, actually, it's from the book of Revelation, which talks about the last days of our world before it ends. And uh, uh, it, in the song, I talk about, uh, are we growing cold? And that's because in the book, in this book of Revelation, it talks about that in the last days, the love of many will grow cold. And we see today that the love of many has turned to madness. It's, it's gone cold and justice is rampant. Um, and I remember when I wrote this song that as I reflected on the, those verses that the love of many will grow cold, that I had grown cold, that my love had actually grown, grown cold because I had allowed past pains to turn into unforgiveness and that unforgiveness had turned to bitterness in my soul. And I had moved away from the purity and the love that God that I once knew God had for me, and uh, and I had to get back to that. And so the bridge of the song, um, again, is a direct quote from the Bible, and um, and that talks about where, it's, where Jesus actually says, whoever isn't willing to give up his life and follow me, 
uh, will lose his life. And so that's been my experience in life is that whenever I try to live my life the way I want to, that I end up losing. Uh, and whenever I've laid down my own desires that I realize that I end up gaining so much more. And um, I can explain a little bit more about that, but let's just play the song. And um, I hope again that you'll enjoy it and it will uh, speak to you as well, wherever you're at. Galaxies form where the stars go black. The moon it falls out of its socket, and the blood it drips down the little carpet to the floor of the board where the sun sets. I know that it could be so much stronger. I know that we could be so much stronger, but I turn into stone. I don't even know what's ahead for me. I'll be growing cold. I know I've got a soul. I know that I don't want to go to hell. I die. I know this one who sits on his throne. He's holding my hand, asking me to come home. But I listen. I've got one life. I've got So that's One Life, or I've Got One Life, that's what it's called. Um, 
and yeah, and so I explained the meaning behind that. I do want to give just one short example of uh, uh, also how this song was birthed out of my experiences. Um, I, as I said, if we try to keep our life, we will lose it. But if we try to, but if we lose our life, if we give it over, um, I believe, as according to what the Bible says, if we give our lives to God and to his purposes, then uh, we gain our life. And so uh, an experience I had in my life of this was, and I've met, I've had many, but this is just one experience. Um, years, years, years ago, I was in a bad relationship, a toxic relationship, and um, and I was, yet I was sure that that was what I wanted for my life. That was what was right for my life. In that time of my life, I was absolutely certain that that was what God, forget God, I actually didn't even believe in God at that time of my life. What I wanted, what was right for my life, that was what I believed. And um, the whole lifestyle and the friendships surrounding that relationship were toxic. It was so bad for me, but while I was in it, I was so sure it was good, it was right, it felt right. Uh, and then I came to a very dark place of my life and I ended up turning back to God and I uh, remember that he told me to give up this relationship and he told me to give up these toxic friendships and this situation that I was in and, and it was the hardest thing for me to do and uh, and yet I knew that if I was going to live according to that song that I wrote and live according to those verses um, that I had to do this and uh, and I just I I did it it was the hardest thing I ever had to do but I cut off that whole situation out of my life and then I waited for years and I was lonely and I didn't I had a few close friends but I didn't have that relationship I was longing for as so many of us do um, and then years later God allowed me to meet my husband and um, and when I met him, I realized that there was so many things about him that were the things that I actually wanted. But uh, I, if I had tried to make it happen my own way, it was going to turn out horrible. But because I had given up what seemed good at the time, out of obedience uh, to what I believe God was saying to me, then years later, I was blessed with something so much better. And uh, that's really what I believe um, God is talking about that Jesus is talking about in those verses is that when we give up even sometimes what might seem good we'll see later that maybe it wasn't even that good um, but we'll see so much more blessing and fruit later in our lives so that's the concept of that song and that's an experience I had in my life um, we're going to move on we only have three songs left that I'm going to play for you all tonight. Um, the next, next one is called The Gentle Song of the Wind. And uh, I'll play this one and then I'll explain, do my little explanation for it. Also, thank you guys for um, not laughing at me and <laughs> my breath. I really ran out of breath on that last song. Again, I am pregnant, so I'm not trying to blame a baby. Maybe <laughs> it's not her fault, but um, but yeah, that does make it harder to sing. So. <laughs> All right, here's the gentle song of the wind. I'm just gonna back a little. Have some more space to play this way. <laughs> Catch our breath. 
song of the wind uh, from my album hope at dawn i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> uh it kind of has i want to say a bluesy feel i don't i don't like genre like i don't like to fit my music into a genre uh because it i don't feel like it fully fits a genre I, i'm sure a lot of other musicians and indie artists out there feel that way but i think this song sounds a little bluesy uh, which I think is cool. It's the only song I've really written like that. Um, and yeah, a little bit of the story behind the song. I wrote it about three years ago. And it was right, right before I moved to Turkey, where, where I'm at right now. Uh, I was still living in Cyprus. And hold on. One minute. <laughs> and I was sitting out in the Cyprus evening sunset breeze. Um, yeah, I was just sitting, kind of having some quiet time and contemplating uh, 
a thought process um, and the thought process was if I, I was contemplating the meaning of my existence uh, as many of us do at some point in our lives and um, I was contemplating if you know if I not in a like a depressed way but it was just a thought process like if I didn't exist would it really make a difference um, to the world around me and I think as many artists and creatives probably experience, maybe not everyone, but I know a lot of creatives who, have, who experience this. And I know it's been my experience that the temperature of the creative mind is usually very chaotic. And it's usually out of that chaos that our creative works are made. Excuse me. <laughs> um, and, uh, so yeah, I was having just this chaos moment where my thoughts were in chaos, and uh, and then all of a sudden I just kind of felt that breeze, that gentle breeze, that physical gentle breeze on my body, and and I was reminded that God's voice, God does not speak in chaos; He speaks in a gentle whisper, and um, I was encouraged and reminded in that moment to calmed my mind, so I, I calmed my mind, I stilled my thoughts, I set my thoughts aside, and in that moment, in the midst of all this, these just these thoughts that were going on, I felt and heard and sensed God saying with that gentle breeze that, hey, it's, listen, it's all going to be okay. All of these thoughts you're having, it's all going to be okay. In the end, it's all going to be okay. And so, that was really where the song came from. It's not much, I mean, that's deep, I guess, but there's nothing deeper than that. Um, yeah, I had my guitar by me and I wrote the song up from that moment, at that moment. Yeah, so that's the gentle song of the wind. Um, we are going to play, yeah, I'm going to play through my last two songs now since uh, we have about 15 minutes left. And those to our Death is the Way from my album Hope at Dawn and Light Breaks Through from my album Hope at Dawn. So this next one I will play on my acoustic guitar because it's a more a little more acoustic-y if that's a word. And you guys got a sneak peek of my pregnant belly in that moment. <laughs> a little more of an acoustic-y song. So um yeah, Death is the Way is our next one. And again, I'll play the song and then give a short little explanation about the song after. So, actually, I need to make sure this guitar is in tune. I think it is. <laughs> well, we'll find out. <laughs> I also hope that you can hear it. So this is my song, Death is the Way. Rain falls down your face like a clear sign of something Locked away the pain inside your heart. He never got a chance to play. The boy inside, the boy inside. Wanted to be free 
Instead, you throw them away, away. She stood in the night. She was lost in the darkness. Ready to put up a fire. down a tree and you've stood by it watching the streams that float into your soul Piercing you, healing you the day. Turn dark, and you wanted to run away, to cry and hide your face from the way. Before he drew his last breath, before you became brand new and death, death is the way into life, everlasting life. His last breath became your first as his gravestone was rolled away for God. Now the boy. He can play, and the girl, she knows her name. So that was Death is the Way from my album, Hope at Dawn. Uh, this song has a kind of twofold it's the same meaning it but yeah it has a twofold meaning you could say um i wrote it a few months before i got married so a couple years ago already and uh my husband had told me a story about how when he was a child he didn't have a lot of toys uh at one period he didn't have any toys uh growing up and um yeah and, and i remember that that has kind of inspired me to originally write this song because i wanted to write a song from that perspective of what it would have been like to grow up with the kind of a kind of rough, rough childhood like he had and um not being able to play and so i yeah i wrote the song from that perspective of, of a boy who had to grow up too fast and wasn't allowed to be a boy and then as I started writing it kind of it just developed and I was a member of uh, my experiences when I was living in the Philippines and how we were working with a lot of street children and there was a lot of just injustice and um, young age prostitution happening and just a lot of really heavy sad heartbreaking stories that I encountered and as I was kind of coming contemplating and remembering all of that this song emerged about a boy who had to 
grew up too fast, who was never allowed to play, and a girl who was sold into slavery and the same thing. She had to grow up too fast and wasn't allowed to just be that child. And um, and, and then from there I wrote this song. Uh, and again, this song says death is the way into life. And so um, it's kind of similar to the whole to the whole theme of the album, really, but just the whole theme of the I've got one life that if, if we don't die to ourselves, then we can't truly experience life. And and it's through the work that God did uh, by sending his son Jesus, um, as I read in the Bible, that we find that life by coming to him and receiving the life he gave for us, um, that we find life, everlasting life, that goes above and beyond the pains and the hurts that we have in this present life. And um, and he takes away all of that hurt and he takes away all of that pain. And that's why at the end of the song, the boy is allowed to play again and the girl, she knows who she is, she knows her name because um, they've come to that place of, um, they've seen Jesus on the cross, which is what this song is talking about. Again, this is uh, based off of my belief and my testimony and what I believe to be true, but uh, I do hope that it resonates with you and that um, that if you're someone who also grew up too fast, that you can find hope um, that there is a way to have life and to be able to play again and be that free child that you're never allowed to be, um, even as a grown up. So that's the meaning of this song. <laughs> um, and last but not least, we will wrap up our time with uh, Light Breaks Through, <laughs> which is my favorite song on the album. Uh, I think it's a lot of other people's favorite song as well from what I've, the feedback I've gotten. Um, and uh, so I'll just, I'll give the explanation for this song and then I'll play the song. There's not a whole lot of explanation. It's pretty similar to the explanation of the spoken word children of the light. I wrote it at the same time. It was during COVID. Just that whole explanation of, yeah, the light, ch being children of the light. But um, I did, I was inspired to write this song specifically by, by um, two verses from the Bible, and um, I will read uh, uh, those really quickly for you all before I play the song. Uh, the one verse says in Matthew 4, 16, that the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. And then in John 3, 19 through 21, um, it says, light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. And the king of the, the dawn, which just my final spoken word on the album, which you can go listen to after this is done if you haven't heard it, um, is a direct, that spoken word is a direct quote from this verse as well, um, and it sums up the whole album. But yeah, uh, the Bible says that Jesus is the light of the world and um, that people living in darkness have seen a great light and he is that light. And so I know in my life when I was in darkness and hopelessness, and as I shared earlier in anxiety and in depression, uh, Jesus was the light that brought me out of that darkness. And, um, and I do believe that he extends that uh, invitation to everyone. And um, I just wanna share that with you because that's been what, he's the reason why I sing the songs and write the songs that I do. Um, and so again, uh, Light Breaks Through is a song of hope which speaks to anyone who feels that they're lost in the darkness. Um, it's a call to you that the light has always been greater than the darkness. The darkness cannot defeat 
the light. When you turn a light switch on in the room, all the darkness flees. Um, and so this is a song from me to you if you feel that you are lost in darkness and need hope and need a light uh, to get out of that. And uh, I'm having a mental block of how to play it. My pregnancy brain. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, right. I I've played it a few different ways, that's why I wasn't able to remember. I'm just going to play it the easier way um, for playing live. This is a bit of an easier way for me. So here's Light Breaks Through from my album, Hope at Dawn. I hope you enjoy it. Oh 
his eyes. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. The King goes before us. That's Light Breaks Through from my album, Hope at Dawn. And that's the last song that I'll be playing for y'all tonight. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the little miniature tiny desk for my home concert. <laughs> um, and yeah, for those of you who joined, thank you guys so much. We were so few, but it was so sweet and, and intimate. <laughs> And for those of you who wanted to catch it but couldn't or missed it or didn't know what was happening or whatever, I'm going to upload it on my YouTube channel. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for yeah your support of me and my music and um, for listening and tuning in with me tonight. Um, I hope and pray that you find light in the darkness wherever you're at whatever you're going through right now love you all and i'm going to sign off now <laughs> bye if i know how to sign off <laughs> oh also yeah if you are still there if there's people still there still there um if you haven't listened to my album you can find that on the link in my bio uh, hope at dawn it is on YouTube and Spotify uh, and all the other things as well. Um, so, yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Zaraita. Until next time. <laughs>